Okay, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how to create a custom camera profile to help white balance um, an infrared image uh, with a uh, Nikon camera. Um, this particular picture was taken with a Nikon D7000 that had a um, infrared conversion done by Calari Vision at 720 um, nanometers. It's um, it will white balance uh, within the camera, but the raw file itself, as you can see, will not white balance. It's um, still too red. You can see all the red in the histogram sitting off to the right, but with the uh, white balance slider all the way to the left, I have nowhere else that I can go within um, Lightroom to try and adjust this properly. So what I'm going to do, um, you'll see, take note of the file name here. I'm going to close out of Lightroom because I do have to come back in um, I have to, we'll have to get out and come back in in order to uh, develop this correctly. So I'll quit out of Lightroom. And what I've opened is the um, Adobe uh, DNG uh, profile editor. And what I would need to do now is uh, open the uh, image that I had worked with before. So I'm um, sorry, I'm going to take a second here. So I'm going to uh, just navigate to that particular image. All right, there we go, and I'll open that up. Okay, now uh, here's the image, uh, much as we saw it previously. I'll just zoom in on that a bit so we can take a look at it. All right, now as you can see, the um, the white balance there is not very good. Um, but what I'll do is if I go under the color matrices here, this white balance calibration, what I can do now is just simply by sliding the temperature all the way to the left, you see I'm much closer now um, with the uh, the white balance that I need um, within uh, within the image. And uh, what I'll do now is I want to export this profile. And what this will now do is once I export it, I can use it to apply to the image uh, in Lightroom or in Adobe Camera Raw and it gives me a brand new starting point for that um, white balance slider. So I'll take this and it should, there you go, um, navigate directly to where I need to save this new recipe and you'll see I have one out there already but we'll call this the Nikon D7000 um, white balance for IR. Close enough and then we'll save that and it exports it successfully. We're good and now I can quit the profile editor. Now we'll go in and we're going to start up Lightroom. Lightroom should now open to exactly where I was uh, previously um, with the same image in the edit module, which you can see here. All right. So again, it's not white balanced. My slider is sitting here at 2000. But if I come down here to the camera calibration section, click in profile, you'll now see this brand new profile that I created, the Nikon 7000 White Balance IR. Click on that, and boom, we're very, very close to where we want to be uh, with white balance. Let's slide back up to the top, and you can now see that the white balance slider is somewhere in the 11,000 range. So it gives me a lot of room to go back towards um, where I was, or off to the left to add more blue. Um, what I typically do is I'll grab the uh, eyedropper, and click in what I want to be essentially neutral. Um, that wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. Let's go over here in the, uh, the leaves that I want to be white. And that's pretty darn close. Um, I can definitely work with that. So now what I would do is I will take this and um, I will do the rest of my edits uh, in uh, Photoshop Creative. Um, so we'll get this to open up and uh, bring it up to full screen. Generally what I'll do here, the first thing I will do is create a new layer. I just hit uh, Command or Control J if you're not on a Mac and L to um, bring up the levels adjustment. And uh, what I really want to do here is you know, just adjust the lighting so it's pretty much where I want it to be to go. You know, where I want it to be is a starting point uh, for the rest of my adjustments. And as you can see right now I got something that's very, very close to where I like it. I, I tend to like this color scheme, um, though we can in fact now apply um, a uh, 
a channel swap, which I'll show you as well. So um, the channel swap, what I would do is I would come over here, and I like to do this with layers. You can also do it uh, under image adjustments. Um, you'd go through and grab the channel mixer, okay, and that will bring up um, the, uh, the channel mixer. And what I want to do is I want to swap the red and the blue channels. I have created um, an IR channel swap, but I'll show you exactly how you would do that here. Um, you would change the red percentage to zero and 100 uh, for the blue channel in the red, red output, then swap back over to the blue channel, change this to zero percent and the red to 100 percent. And now what you have is you have your channel swapped image, um, so you never have to go through this trouble again. You can now go under um, the settings gear and save this as a brand new preset. Okay, again, I've done the same thing here with the IR channel swap. It does the exact same thing, and bam, uh, we're done here. Now that I have this, I can go ahead and I can play with the colors any which way I want. I can make these. There's still a little bit of redness um, to the foliage. There, you know, the, the water's got some reds in it and whatnot. It's not really the kind of colors I want to do, but I have plenty of options um, within Photoshop. So um, I'm going to leave you here. Um, Again, this makes it very easy to get a good white balanced photo um, out of your uh, infrared converted camera um, without having to worry about whether or not you can uh, white balance uh, the infrared in camera.